a modular headset that works on all platforms and is good quality. Stay tuned. What's up guys, I am Ventress and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be getting into an awesome review of this wonderful headset here. But if you're new and you haven't ever been to my channel before, I'm a Twitch affiliate, product reviewer, and also a fellow gamer. If you like what you see in this review, feel free to hit that subscribe button and also tap that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of the content that's uploaded to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into the review. So when unboxing the Rig 400HX headset, you don't really get much in the box, to be quite honest. I mean, you take it about, you get the headset inside of kind of the egg crate type of holding. That's basically it. Nothing fancy, nothing special, just that headset. But the box is not what's important. The headset is. So when taking a look at the 400HX, you'll notice that this headset has a very peculiar design here. Uh, the build quality is really decent and ultra lightweight. It doesn't feel very heavy at all. It's something that can easily uh, held and fit pretty well on your head. Uh, and also the actual bends of the plastic seem to be relatively well. You won't get Hyper X quality type of bends on that headset, but it's good enough for a careful gamer who knows how to take care of his products and won't have to worry about it breaking just on sitting it on the desk or maybe if you plop on it a little bit, uh, you should be good to go. And if you're also worried about the actual quality of this headset as well, the company offers a one year replacement warranty and also a two year replacement warranty if you purchase this out of the UK. So looking at the features of this headset, you have to take a look at what we got here. And the main feature I noticed is that this headset has a very modular type of design. What I mean by modular is that you can take apart parts of this headset like so. Not only can you take off the ear cups, but the inside band also can be removed if needed to actually pull apart off the headset itself. I haven't been able to find replacement parts or if that is the reasoning why they actually made this headset very modular. I'm thinking it might be easier for you to transport if you need to take it apart, put it in a suitcase or something like that, which is the plus when needing to use the headset. But I found it to be very different and the first headset that I've had that had this type of design. I'm sure some exist, but for me, this is the first one I noticed. So it definitely gets some cool points for sure. Getting into other portions of the headset, we have the actual ear cuffs as well. They have a very nice soft plush cloth design on each ear cuff. It feel very thick and they feel very nice on the ears. I wear these a lot and the ears don't really get any irritation. I don't have any itching. They feel relatively well. I can wear these for three or four hour sessions while streaming, while gaming with my friends. And I don't really have a whole lot of problems with the ear cuffs itself. They feel relatively nice. And I think that anyone who likes cloth ear cuffs don't have to worry about the sweat of the leather ear cuffs while these fit real snug and nice. Also the band on the inside is soft and plush as well has a very relatively good thickness on this band. It hasn't really hurt my head as well. I'm also don't have hair up here, but it felt really well. It did itch. It didn't really give me too much pain and it, all around it felt really nice. Now the microphone, which is a detachable microphone. This microphone is a 3.5 millimeter attachment that goes onto the headset itself. It plugs right into the actual left ear cup and allows you to be able to speak, of course, and talk on the microphone. The microphone is very, very flexible. As you can see, it allows you to flex in any direction as a lot of other headsets do. And I think that's a relatively good feature to have. Also, the microphone has relatively good sound when speaking to it. Uh, it has pretty clear, crisp quality when talking to your friends, or if you need to use it for some small commentary, I think it's a go for that. And, and as a matter of fact, don't believe me, let's get into that sound test right now. Now hold, hold up, before we get into that sound test, let me also mention that I am a Twitch streamer, so if you guys are interested in seeing products like this or wanna watch a little more of me outside of the product reviews, I stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays on Twitch. You can see the link down in the description below. Follow me there, let's have a good time and some great laughs. 
So without further ado, let's get into that sound test. This is a sound test of the Rig 400 HX microphone. This is how the microphone sounds. I'm using this through Audacity without any editing or post editing to the microphone sound. The microphone is about one inch away from my face and this is the quality and clarity of the microphone. So now we're gonna get into comfort of this headset. As I stated before, it fits around the head very, very snugly and I don't have very many problems with it crushing on the ear or the head as well. It feels nice and it's nice and snug. It doesn't give me a whole lot of issues at long use. It's very adjustable. It does have tilt at, a, at a inside of the ear cups. You can tilt the inside and out to just get that perfect feel. And it feels nice using it. Uh, the placement of the microphone, the way it works and sits on here does work really well. I don't have a whole lot of complaints when it comes down to comfort on the headset going right across the head. So again, I wanna mention the modular design as well before I give you my final thoughts. So the modular design is very, very unique. I mean, this is something that is just, to me is out of this world because it gives you a lot of adjustment. If you really look at the band, you can really adjust it very, very much so. You can lift it up and down very much. You can take these ear cuffs off. And if you are a very artistic type of person, Think about the, the things you can do with it. You can paint it, you can actually customize it and do a lot of different things you wouldn't be able to do with a headset, even at this price point. So that's something that if you are very uh, different and like have a different type of quality products, this is something that's a definite go-to. So what is my overall thoughts of the RIG 400XS? I think it's a very, very good headset for the price. This headset, not only can be used with your Xbox, which this is the Xbox version here. This can be used with your PlayStation. This can be used with your PC with the right equipment. This can also be used with Nintendo Switch. Anything that you can plug a 3.5 millimeter headset into, this works great. I really think that you can use it for multiple applications as well as being able to rock this headset outside of the gaming world, listen to music, take it where we need to go, not have any worries. The modular design will allow you to take apart all the different aspects. If you like to that you move it and travel and put it in different places, is a go for there. The ear cups are relatively soft, as long as with the band, the build quality feels very tough and rugged for its price point. And also the mic is one of the better mics that I've tried out with the actual headsets of this type. So would it be something you would want to buy over the massive amount of headsets out there. Huh, that depends. If you're limited on the quantity of headsets that you have available and then you had to choose between this and maybe only a couple, I would definitely choose this as a go. I've had cheaper headsets. I had more expensive headsets that also do relatively well. This sits right in the middle as something that is very good and very versatile. I would choose this headset if you don't have a whole lot of different options. If there are other options and money is not really a problem for you, this is probably not the headset to go to. But if you're right around that $40, $50 price range and you're kind of deciding between something like, let's say the Astro A10, or maybe like the Steel Series Arctic One or something of that nature, and you happen to run across this, you would not go wrong with something like this at all. It is a go in my book and it's one of the nicer, best sounding, more comfortable headsets that I have used as a recent. So that is my review of the RIG 400HX headset for Xbox and also PlayStation and also PC and also Nintendo Switch and also anything else. Is this something that you might decide to pick up and use for your gaming needs or maybe to listen to music or for everything you need it for? Let me know down in the comments down below and let's have a conversation about it. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and remember to keep that flame going inside for gaming. This is Adventure signing out, and I will see you in the next product review. Later, gamers.